Hello, my name is Anwish Rajal, and today I want to walk you through a very simple example of creating your own custom transformation to meet your specific needs. Um, before we get started, we have something called Data Weave that allows you to do a lot of your um, data transformation. But if you have any specific uh, or more complex types, you could use this example. So I'm going to get started by starting out with my studio. Here I have a very simple example project which has an HTTP listener that's listening on this slash transform project. Um, right now it's it's not doing anything. What I'm going to do is first I want to start out with by right clicking on source and main Java folder and then I want to say that I want to create a new Java package. right? and then I'm gonna call this com.mio.custom dot um, custom right so give it a unique name hit finish now within my package I want to create a new class that's going to define my transformation so I'm going to in this example I'm going to transform um, some words into some English letters into Nepali so I'm going to type transform to Nepali and hit finish so what this does is it gives me a clean slate with this empty project where I can define my transformation logic right in this case I'm going to take this simple example of a switch statement which I'm going to copy and paste basically what it's doing is it has this do transform method it takes in this input string and converts um, one into ik and two into dui etc just as an example right so now I have it what I'm what I'm expecting is I want to go ahead and you know call this post on transform I believe is what I called it and then have this number be translated from one to the specific data that I gave it right but before I do that I just need to do some use data weave to, to translate the data into the format that I need so I'm going to drag data weave in here right so the first thing I want to say is that I want um, to create a Java object of the payload that I want in in the format of a number right so it's automatically going to parse out that JSON into a number and the second piece of it is I want to now call my Java object and point to that class that I just created right so let me just search for this and then I'm going to search for transform to this is the class that I created so now when that JSON data comes in, it's going to parse out that number field. It's going to call this Java class, and then I want the data to be returned in a nice format for me to view. So I'm going to drag another data weave component. In this case, I don't want it to be Java, I want it to be a JSON format. And what I will do is I will just make it nice, Let's call it number, and let's use the, the default payload. I could go ahead and run this so let me just go ahead and run it it's, it's forcing me to save it wait for it to deploy it. while it's getting deployed let me just double check my path okay so it is at slash transform so I'm going to go back to my postman and call this right do a quick send it goes so what it did is it in my first step right can you see this my first step um, it trans it parsed what's in my payload dot number which is this value and that's basically what got passed into my Java class and the return type came in as payload and that's what I'm displaying it so just to recap, or if I wanted to pass TWO 
right? It's worked the same way where it's now displaying me this the second value. So just to do a quick recap, I the first thing I do is I parse out that payload dot number value that's coming in from my incoming JSON file. Um, that uh, the default object gets passed into my Java class, and then I take the default payload back, and I'm simply displaying it in the format that I want. Okay, so it's very easy. If there's any changes that you wanted to make, um, you can simply go back to your transform, you know, this custom class that you created, and make some changes. Thank you for watching.